1981. Porsche's Weissach Development Center, Germany. Engineer Reiner Wust walks into a storage room and dusts off a transmission prototype that's been sitting unused for 15 years. It's a dual clutch system designed by another engineer named Imre Sodfrid in the 1960s, revolutionary technology that was too advanced for its time. Wust's boss has given him an unusual assignment, make a transmission that shifts faster than any human can and make sure the driver never has to lift off the throttle. It sounds impossible, but Voost sees potential in the forgotten prototype. He rebuilds it with hydraulic actuators, tests it in a Porsche 944 Turbo, then does something radical. He installs it in Porsche's Le Mans race car. The result? A transmission that shifts in 8 milliseconds without losing boost pressure. Drivers can keep both hands on the wheel and left foot brake while maintaining full turbo spool. It's a game changer. But the technology is so far ahead of its time that Porsche shelves it for another 20 years. This is the story of PDK, Porsche Doppelkupplung, or dual clutch transmission, the engineering trick that eventually made Porsche unbeatable. The problem, racing drivers are too slow. To understand why Porsche developed PDK, you need to understand the challenge of 1980s endurance racing. The Porsche 956 and 962 dominated Le Mans with turbocharged flat-six engines producing over 600 horsepower. But turbos had brutal lag, lift off the throttle to shift, and the boost pressure would drop instantly. Getting it back meant waiting precious seconds for the turbo to spool up again. Drivers tried to minimize throttle lift during shifts, but it was destroying clutches and gearboxes. Helmuth Bott, Porsche's development boss, realized the problem wasn't the drivers, it was the transmission itself. A manual transmission requires disengaging the clutch, moving a lever, then re-engaging. Even the fastest drivers lose 200 to 300 milliseconds per shift. At Le Mans, that's 3,000 plus shifts over 24 hours. Do the math, that's 15 minutes lost just waiting for gears to change. Bot told Voost, find a way to eliminate shift time completely. Voost's answer was elegantly simple in concept, brutally complex in execution. A dual clutch transmission uses two separate clutches, one for odd gears, first, third, and fifth, and one for even gears, second, fourth, and sixth. While you're driving in third gear, the transmission pre-engages fourth gear on the other clutch. When you shift, it simultaneously disengages one clutch and engages the other. The result? Zero interruption in power delivery. The engine never loses connection to the wheels. Turbo boost stays spooled, and shifts happen in 8 milliseconds, faster than a driver can blink. Voost tested the system in a Porsche 944 Turbo first, using modified shift paddles that only required a push or pull, no clutch pedal needed. The car could shift without throttle lift and without losing momentum. Then, he installed it in the Porsche 956 race car. Legendary driver Hans Joachim Stuck tested it and immediately demanded one detail change. Move the shift controls to paddles behind the steering wheel so drivers never had to take their hands off the wheel. That single suggestion, paddle shifters, became standard in every race car and supercar that followed. The problem, 20 years too early. Here's where the PDK story gets frustrating. The system worked perfectly in testing. Shifts were instant, smooth, and fast. But there was a catastrophic problem, reliability. The hydraulic valves, electronics, and clutch materials of the 1980s couldn't handle the stress of racing. Shifts in the 956-962 were violent, 
so rough they damaged transmission components and wore out clutches in hours instead of races. Porsche couldn't develop a wet clutch system that would provide smoother engagement without losing shift speed. We were at least 20 years ahead of our time, Voost later admitted. The technology existed, but the components needed to make it reliable didn't. So Porsche shelved PDK, filed the patents, and waited. The Resurrection Ferdinand Peak Never Forgot Fast forward to the early 2000s, Ferdinand Peak, now CEO of the Volkswagen Group, which owned Porsche, remembered testing that early PDK system in a Porsche 924 back in 1981. He'd been impressed then, and 20 years later, he realized the technology had finally caught up. Electronic valve control, advanced hydraulics, and refined clutch materials now existed. Peak ordered Porsche to resurrect PDK and make it production ready. In 2008, Porsche launched the 997 generation 911 with PDK as an option. Shifts now took just 100 milliseconds, faster than any human could shift manually. The system was smooth, reliable, and brutally effective. Within five years, PDK became standard on most Porsche models. Manual transmissions started disappearing. Why? because PDK wasn't just faster, it was better in every measurable way. Fuel economy improved, acceleration times dropped, lap times fell. Why PDK made Porsche unbeatable? Here's what PDK gave Porsche that competitors didn't have. Every other dual clutch system on the market, VW's DSG, BMW's DCT, Ferrari's F1, was developed in the 2000s. Porsche had been refining the technology since 1981. They had a 20-year head start on calibration, shift logic, and clutch material science. The result? Porsche's PDK shifted smoother and faster than any competitor. A 911 Turbo with PDK was consistently 0.3 to 0.5 seconds quicker to 60 miles per hour than the manual version. On a racetrack, PDK-equipped cars lapped 2 to 3 seconds faster per minute of track time. But the real advantage was psychological. Drivers could focus entirely on braking points, corner entry, and throttle application without worrying about shift timing. The transmission became invisible, doing its job perfectly without demanding attention. The Legacy, the transmission that changed everything. Today, PDK is Porsche's standard transmission. Manual gearboxes are rare, often available only on special order models for purists. Every major manufacturer now offers dual-clutch transmissions inspired by PDK's success. But here's what makes this story remarkable. Porsche invented dual-clutch technology in the 1960s, rebuilt it in the 1980s, shelved it because the technology wasn't ready, then waited 20 years for the rest of the world to catch up. That patience, combined with relentless engineering, is what made PDK unbeatable. Not just the speed, not just the smoothness, but the decades of refinement that competitors couldn't match. Rainer Voost, the engineer who resurrected Sodefrid's forgotten prototype, retired in 2006, two years before PDK finally reached production. He spent 25 years developing a transmission that was too advanced for its era. But when technology finally caught up, Porsche was ready, and that's the German engineering trick that made them unbeatable. Not rushing innovation, but perfecting it until the world was ready.